to adjust my camera and he walked in. So hi again. Well, if you want to go say greetings. The game has started. Please change the camera back. Ah, okay. <laughs> I can't got the ball. Um, yeah, I got it back. <laughs> We're playing at the corner of the closed side of the uh, current basket. So Vienna is actually attacking yeah. Akaren. They're setting up an attack. Now number six of Akaren managed to get the ball with one of the Austrian players. Sabrina Scheuer now is tackling uh, players. It's also good here. So Vienna managed to get back the ball, um, trying to set up their game in the corner, playing nicely around the basket. They're forcing Akan to, to defend. And now they're coming to players of the wave in, and their third one trying to set up the attack. Um, Akan is nicely defending. They're now, now missing a player from downside. So they're still attacking. The Vienna players positioned under the basket, waiting. Ball is a bit too far though. Yeah. And, and Vienna lost yes. the ball. Akan passed it to the empty. No, Vienna got the ball back. That's always a risk if you if pass you the ball. Pass and yourself, you, you don't know if uh, your teammate or the opponent will get it. Yes. So they're really playing these first few minutes at the basket of Akaren. Um, minutes almost, yes. And there was like some struggle in the midfield, but Vienna managed to get back the ball, trying to pass the Norwegian players to Norwegian get back with the ball. So I can't try it. They didn't pass in midfield yet. <laughs> no, they're still in the midfield. They were, and now moving. Vienna got the back, the ball back. They're yes. fighting for it and moving towards the oh, free throw. What's coming from okay. Free throw for, for Vienna, Vienna playing outside the area. So they're quite good um quite an un unexpected start for the game, right? Like Vienna is really playing I don't know, because if you think at the World Championship, the Austrian national team lost against Colombia, uh, live stream froze, 3-0 uh, only, and yeah. we're expecting a bigger difference. And uh, yeah. against that, they beat Denmark 3-2, yes. which was, I think, the biggest surprise. Yes. Um, one of the biggest surprises of World Championships. Yes. Now we're, for the first time, at the corner of the Vienna basket, but now moving back to the middle field, struggling for the ball. Um, number 25 has it from McCurry, trying to break free, and they did it. So now the Norwegians are at the Austrian basket, I guess. We don't see a wrong camera. camera and and we oh, have this, this camera frozen is image frozen coming image. again and again. Of the That's Mars. Game. Yes, it's yes, always the uh, same frozen image coming. Okay. So we now have the attack set up at the um, I think Vienna the, basket. I think the corner camera doesn't work. The the far left corner, the far left corner doesn't work. Every time they try to switch to it, we get this frozen image. Yes. So, so we're we trying to fix it. Some challenges um, which we had today as well. So we, the technicians are aware about the camera. Yeah. Um, so that's why we don't see it, but we have uh, a scrum and trying to, they're moving to midfield. Vienna is in ball possession, struggling against uh, the current player. Still a scrum at the surface. Um, pass to one of the current players who, who laid underneath the scrum. Trying to set up their attack. They're coming in in waves. Um, we don't know what's happening. Pretty fast. Now we don't see anything. Oh, camera yeah. is back. back Perfect. Um, nice. Thank you. And there was, and there a, was goal. a goal. <laughs> we, we see the ball lying in the basket. So. So I think we had Daniela on the goal and Sabina in front, but I'm not completely sure. But that's also the thing. Diana went really strong into the game at the yes. beginning, so I 
maybe was a bit too strong as it got tired. Let's see mm -hmm. how the game keeps on evolving. Um, but it's, it's a good game. It's, it's a good starting game. very well. Let's see if I can prove how wrong. <laughs> what did he say? No, that it would it would be a five plus goal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, we're in midfield again. Again, I have the ball. Trying to, to get to the basket again. Sabrina Schreier here. Nicely defending. With the ball. They're coming in waves. But there are always like three or four Norwegian players down there. So apparently the Norwegians are missing some of their key and strongest players. But they're managing the ball right well. New wave of attackers from Vienna comes in. One was, was too far and she left too early. She stole the defender's position. So one against two. Is a, it's very interesting it's how Akarin, the when they go to defend, yes. and we have like two, two people going down at once. And it's switching really well. It doesn't leave a lot of uh, empty spots for the Viennese women to attack. but. They're just trying and they're staying around the basket, yeah, not yes. taking too much risks, too many risks, but they're they're there. They're not going too far from the basket yes. maximum midfield and coming back. And now they're coming back in as a wave. Um, one of the current players had the ball, now he was crumb in the midfield at the surface. And now we're back in ball possession of Vienna. Trying to attack. One against two or three actually. Um, okay. The Norwegians got the ball, so number 13 is counter-attacking. This is Cecilia Skade. Skade? I think she's the captain in Graz. Could might be, maybe someone can give the information if you know that in the chat. Now we are in the corner of the coast side of the Vienna basket. A current trying to attack. Vienna put nicely around the basket, now that was a goal. Yeah, right right in the moment when the defender got up to change to the defend, to, yeah. to switch. And that's where you see the difference when Akai and I are defending, they actually have a defender and uh, an attacker for like a for defender defending for checker. <laughs> and Vienna they didn't now they were lacking both times actually they were lacking uh, an attacker in between the defender and the ball. Yes. So it was easier Akai and could get closer to the basket. Yeah. So we're they're now again at the basket. Oh, this one Ooh, against one. one. Uh, they tried the Merla, the, the technique to, to we also call the bottle opener, lying around the basket. But it was just quick. Number nine is getting in. And they're really attacking in waves. There was one, two, three people down there, and they see one. And they really, you see, they dropped the ball quite a lot in where there was supposed to be a player. No, there wasn't, so... Yeah, that they could counter-attacking. But true, the Norwegians, they go, one person goes in, and uh, that's what the Viennese don't do. The yes. Vienna women don't, that haven't really, until now, gone close to the basket yes. against one person, and the academy players is something that they do, and puts Vienna under, under a bit more stress. So there's one minute left of the halftime. Um, we see quite interesting game, it's 2-0 for Akarin. Which happened in Ooh, the no defender one no defender. one. Well, that was a nice pass. Pass towards pass back. back and, and goal by number two. It is Marie Kratetaik. Uh, so the there's thirty five seconds left now for the first half. Okay, the Anna is again strong with the ball. They're missing the assist. The ball dropped yeah. to the bottom. Good pass to Sophie Bartestein. Norwegians setting up their attack again. Number 25 has it now. 
really, but there are so many Vienna players at her, so she couldn't turn around, but now she okay. couldn't see the Half hole. time. Half time. Yeah. So the, they had four or five players now at the basket, Vienna yes. defending and grabbing onto the other player. We yes. don't get a goal the last five seconds. Yes, but it's very interesting because uh, the last years, um, last times they met, so Akar and Vienna in 2016, mm -hmm. it was... Uh, 15 zero or something like that, 2017, who was, who wrote the result, uh, Selenius wrote in 2017, 13 zero, but it was a big, uh, big improvement, yes. now uh, the Austrian teams yes. have, uh, they have been training a lot for, for Graz this year, it was every month training camps and a lot of, of effort on yes. uh, the Austrian women as a national team, of course, but half Vienna, half Graz, more or less, or 60-40, because they have more players. Um, yeah. They won the Amara Cup last year. There was really a good effort made by uh, in Austria, and there is a lot of progress that you can notice. Well, the stream is down. The stream, the stream is down. down. Next, next we are in one second. Now. The stream is down. So the stream isn't working. We try to fix it. Are you here? Um, I don't know if you hear us, but we don't have it on YouTube, so we have a tablet here, so we see the live stream and the chat, and if something happens, we just go and tell it to the people. Lisa is trying to, to talk to the technical team. Inside. But on the on our big screen we see us and we see the goat. Yes, I but this doesn't mean that we're online on the live stream. Um, the game started again. Yes, I think they're trying to fix it. They're trying to fix it. Um, so game started, live streams down. Doesn't matter. Let's keep on commenting on the game, and at yes. one point we'll be back on live online as soon as the problem is fixed. So we have a um, really strong starting of the game from McCarran, um, trying to attack with more power, with more speed and with more people down there, like they're coming in really, really fast waves and now we see there's no defender, defender is trying to get in goalie again, um, so they really changed the attitude against, against Vienna. So I'm um, just keep commenting. Lisa is trying to work it out that the live stream is going. Um, they lost the ball in midfield. Now one of the Vienna players got the ball back, trying to pass to. And now there's two against, a one against two, and now they're coming in in, in a wave with three. Vienna is attacking the uh, carrying goal, um, but the defender got crib off. The ball number four is Tove Shigat. I know they're trying to do the counter attack, breaking free of the goal, trying to move forward the Vienna side again. Um, coming in in the wave is four people, and now there was a signal from the referee. I think pushing or roughing, pushing, pushing. Pushing and free throw for Vienna. Now we hear phones ringing in the background. So, 3 um, so, 0 for Akaran. I'm, I'm really proud of the Vienna team. Doing a really nice job. As for playing against Karen, who won the last years, who won Norway, won the World Championship um, in a tough fight against the teams, um, against Germany in the finals, and now there, Vienna is also going fast, trying to attack again. Um, I think they really get the crib of it and just want to play. So Vienna is coming in another um, wave of four people actually. Um, they changed 
the waves they allow for three people instead of two um, they read the passcode still from a Karen in the close corner we can't quite see what's happening but I think yeah a Karen got hold of the ball is setting up the counter attack going nicely in but the pass was interfered by one of the Vienna players but she couldn't get hold of the ball um, holding two three throw for a current against Vienna so they're attacking again they're one defender trying to end that's a goal that's a goal for a current the the goalie from Vienna lifted two two seconds from she wasn't quite on the basket and that was the chance for Karen to score again. It's 4 0. And there are six minutes left. Um, I hope we are online. No, so we're not we online. But it's, it's interesting because I thought like the, when the um, halftime started again, the Karen went in stronger and faster. Ooh, we're oh, we're live again. again. Hello. And free throw for Vienna. Nice. I hope you haven't missed so much, but they are play, playing much stronger at Karen now, but they changed also a little bit because Vienna is also building up more waves with more people. And now they had a 3 throw and are going in quite strong, playing more down, then scrum closer to the corner. There was one one player waiting, waiting downstairs downstairs and uh, down at the bottom of the pool and trying to set up a really good attack um, and moving we, around the basket and in the time we were down we only had uh, one goal from by Akaren and uh, Vienna was still playing a lot trying um, to play in the yes Akaren half so Ooh, three now against, against one Ooh, that's the, there's missing Ah, but the goalie who was alone managed to get the ball, they go pass it ball to the team, pl team player and they're now um, in midfield um, moving to the current side. So the chat is not working apparently. Um, so they're like scrumming, passing down to the Vienna player and they're coming in really strong, they like really want to Maybe they want just one score or just to to not defend all the time, but they're really good in attacking right now. And now we're in midfield again, one a current player against Vienna, but the, the girls from Vienna laid down the scrum, get hold of the ball and now trying to move to the current side. Now Karen has the ball again after struggling of ball possession. You see the difference in, in experience, though, the oh, ball handling thing, yeah. that here was, she just lifted the goalie very easily, but there were against, again, there was a defender, but she was not well positioned, she arrived too late, mm -hmm. and uh, she, the attacker was able to lift her very easily. So we... <laughs> in the midfield right now, struggling for the ball again. And Vienna passed to the player. Now they're going down to the Vienna goal. Uh, there's the ball coming with number four of Akarin, trying to get in. Um, pass it to number seven, but there's so many I'm trying to lift. Yeah, but uh, now there's missing again um, the defense. There's no yet. Yeah, now there's the defender, but. Ooh, the goalie got the ball, so the first goalie got lifted by the current player, mm -hmm. Daniel Neintoffel, and then the second goalie came in and got the ball and started to counter-attack, which, which okay, stopped midfield. Stopped. Do we see why? What's happening? Is it stopped or is it still... Uh, I think it's still no, going. No, there is still going. So yes, the... the Akalan is now putting way more pressure on the Vienna basket. As they did a few minutes and that's, and that's a goal again. That was a really slow goal, right? Yes, it was, I think, there's two minutes left and 
Jenna has been doing a very good and intense effort, but now I think they're, they're tired and uh, Akaren is going in a bit stronger and uh, not taking any prisoners. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's 6-0 uh, for Akaren, so Christopher Cerveres was right, so it's 5 plus goals, but uh, Vienna did a quite good job against Akaren, and you see really Akaren is defending really strong, the positions are really set. People are lying, lying strong there, um, so it's hard for the Vienna goals to, to break through the defense. But let's see if they manage to score a goal. A goal. They're again now very Checking, close yeah. to the to the current basket. That goes away. Most of that, number two recovering it by number 38. 36. Number two. 36. Thank you, Casey Vice. 20. 26. What? Um, the Schwarz, sorry. <laughs> yeah, now there's a scrum at the surface. Um, Akaren is in ball possession, is trying to check forward really fast. Um, one of the Vienna goals is struggling to, to get the ball. Now there's one against two. Uh, one against one, mm -hmm. sorry. Um, the, the goalie is defending really strong from Vienna's side. They're changing really fast. And the ball is <laughs> midfield. So corner. at the surface, I think, no, now Akaren has no, it. No, and there's not even 40 seconds left, so now you see Vienna has almost uh, the four or five players in the water. No, just uh, the three defense more. Let, let herself dis dis distract this. Get distracted. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Vienna Thanks. won't score, no, I don't think so. But uh, there were, it was before with Stefanie Pop mm -hmm. from uh, the German national team, actually. She lives in Vienna. No, oh, uh, really? Yes, who was going close to the basket. But 10 seconds left. So now number seven is lifting up the goalie. There's no that there comes a new goalie. A defender got in a goalie position. Yes. To, to try to not and that's okay, the end game of is the over. Game. So six zero. Very well played, both teams. Uh, special congratulations to Vienna. I'm, I'm a bit biased on this. <laughs> uh, six zero. Very very well done. Um, I think it was a quite a good women's game to see that a uh, more experienced uh, uh, team was defending really strong, getting in the defense, um, and Vienna was really playing a good a good game, trying to get into the attacks, getting into the defense, and there's the passing over. Here comes Wolf and Lorena again for the next game. No, no I, I'll no, stay with Lorena. Yes. Okay, when you stay with Lorena, I'm coming back later on. Bye. So Akan could have scored five more goals if they were more cynical around the basket, says Christian Schiffer. Yeah, but they did not. <laughs> and uh, no, they, they played really well. Uh, Vienna played really well. They really defended. And it's also, if you think about it, the teams, uh, Austrian women, they, we don't have so many players who play for very long. Half the team plays for four years. Yeah, the the you're quite the university new. Course, and then you have players who play for eight, ten years, but it's not like the Norwegians who play like for 15 years. So what's for you at the end? Uh, the game? 6-0. Six zero. Ah, six six zero. Zero. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay, but I don't... We have just our paper here checking. But it's not... Uh, someone missed somewhere then. Malsh, how much was ah, Malsh being? We missed... Um, Malsh this one was 6-0. So that so like this we can follow a little bit and so I think the men can someone remember how much Mal Vienna, Mal Vienna, Vienna I think was uh, seven, seven, seven zero. zero. Yeah. No, six it's not written on the board yeah. either. So if someone's remember I think it was seven zero something like this. We're coming to the mm, game number nine. Seven zero. Thank you, Jose. I also thought so. Uh, so we have now um, Orcas versus Wien. So do we have uh, Colombians and Austrians? Uh, that are here cheering up for the teams. Österreicher, ich ein bisschen dabei wieder, die gerade schauen und wollen so hier für die Mannschaft richtig hier cheer up auf Deutsch, Lisa. <laughs> and fine, you know. Y los colombianos, tenemos a gente de Colombia mirando. We're talking, it's Australia, not Austria now playing. What? Now it's 
Australia. It's uh, the goals from Brisbane. Ah, sorry, I was looking here. Up the, I'm so change. sorry. That I would. Ah, yeah, I just missed. The problem is we have the list. It's very small, and I missed uh, the one line. I'm so sorry, Australia. And probably because Australia and Australia. Yeah, glasses off. Yeah, for, I have to put my camera, glasses right? it's because I want to, you know, look, nice on the camera. look nicer. But I, without my glasses, I'm lost in translation. So Australia. Funny enough, I was outside by the pool talking to them. I know that. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm so sorry, Australia. Are you awake and watching? I think it's you are. A, it's one a.m. But depending where you are looking from, uh, at least nine you nine uh, hours uh, before, and. As uh, Bobby says, yes, sorry, it's Australia versus Colombia, and I, it's not that I confuse Austria and Australia. I just really was looking at wrong line, and yeah. Anyway, I will use uh, my glasses after. Thank you. So we have the teams here. I can uh, read now the Colombian team. A ver, gente de Colombia, vamos a ver quién está jugando. Eh, número uno, Federico Londoño. Uh, número dos, Jorge Franco. Número cuatro, Daniel Arias. Número seis, Javier Perea. Siete, Manuel Celis. Ocho, Pablo Castrillón. Diez, Simón Díaz. Once, Samuel Gaviria. Catorce, Alejandro Viedo. Veinticuatro, Camilo Díaz. Treinta y dos, Sebastián Ochoa. Treinta y siete, Diego Gómez. Noventa, Renber Camargo. Noventa y nueve, Juan José Laverde. Y en Australia. So for Australia, we have playing in white, number one, Freddy Corrales, three, Hannah Barringer, seven, Ricardo Ariarte, eight, Jake Williams, ten, David, David Torres, eleven, Daniel Lopez, fourteen, Nicholas Leahy, seventeen, Jared Carnies, eighteen, Victor Gavillon, nineteen, Rob Patterson, twenty, Luke Jacobides, twenty-four, Lopez Nomenes, forty, John Phillips, 44, Jody Wilson, 88, Benjamin Wong. So we have two women actually playing for this team. It's the first mixed team of the day, I think, we're having. We're in the first team that's playing mixed with women. With yes, some yes, women yes, 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 because the uh, Australian women team couldn't come, right? Uh, so Australia has this year just, but you know, since yeah, it's another team anyway, because it's, it's Brisbane and uh, it would have been Perth, otherwise coming for the women, and uh, they could not make it this time. I know, I, but I think that maybe, yeah. Anyway, it's, just, it's more and more rare to find mixed teams in the Champions Cup. In the past, it was a little bit more common. I know we have Bordeaux as well. Bordeaux was playing yep. uh, with, uh, we had an I think that, that there are the newer teams that do have sometimes mix. Uh, the ones that are well established uh, don't mix. Uh, or older teams where there is not much rugby anymore in the country or something is loud. <laughs> they would have been first for the women. A ver, Colombia, ¿cómo están? Y hay también eh, colombianos que están en Australia, ¿no? There is also a big influence of um, Colombian players uh, in Australia, ¿no? For Colombians that emigrate and play there.